know, every liberal I know tells me that. It's been 40 goddamn years since no, Reagan. No. And since then, you guys... 28 years. Since then, since he was governor? Because he did it when he was governor. Oh, we're talking governor? 60s. But the no, I'm talking, is, no, I'm talking Reagan as president. He didn't do that as president. All right. Well. That, happened, that happened because liberals like yourselves wanted to make sure that crazy people had rights. All of the, all of the lunatic mass murders that have occurred... You know, this isn't about the future. ...have let's, been let's... because of you guys. You let it happen. Because you wanted crazy people to have rights. No, that's... And it's that's, almost impossible that's, to get them committed. That's... Maybe it's, impo maybe it's hard to get crazy people committed. No, but, it's, but, it's hard because of naive liberals like yourself. Yeah, but a, a, lot of the shoot, a lot of the shooty fuckers don't give you enough of a clue in the, ahead of time. You can't blame every... Most of them do, ironically. Oh, yeah. Oh, we yeah, have they, to look they, at the state. The, the reports are, are rife with, with following them their whole lives, constant trips to the office, constant reports from counselors. This person's got a problem. Parents trying to get them committed. Oh, no. You can't commit your kid. If, you, if, you're, if one of your kids started making threats, it would be very, very difficult, near impossible, for you to get that kid committed. Because liberal groups gave them these rights. All right, hold on. All We're way rights. off. We're, let's, I'm stopping this. We're way off the future. Um, and anyway, let's move off of this shit. Let's move on to. Or you said there are three possible futures Americanist, socialist, and Muslim. Yep. All right. So, one, I think, one disruptive force. For good or for bad, is that AI will mess with economic systems as they currently exist? How is that? How will that happen? Have you seen the movie Idiocracy? Yes. All right. So there's a lot wrong with it, but it's a good place to start, which is that. In that movie, AI is pretty much, people are stupid, and they don't have much to do. They do dumb jobs, and badly. Um, you can kind of, now I don't know if AI, if Idiocracy presents it explicitly, but you could imagine that, that smart machines are doing a lot of the work formerly done by people. Um, and. There recently a statistic came out that, that AI, that currently existing machines, can do 45% of the things that people do at work. That doesn't mean that 45% of jobs can be done by robots. It means that 45% of the things that people do during the day, if you go to work for eight hours, then, then more than three and a half hours of what you do um, can maybe be done by machines that currently exist. So people have less and less to do. Also, uh, stuff gets cheaper. Food and clothing today costs about a quarter of what they cost relative to average income a hundred years ago. And one of the reasons is automation. Um, okay. So you have less work for people, uh, lower costs for some things for people, um, which both those, th uh, you're going to have longer lifespans. One of the things that drives the economy that nobody talks about is people dying and passing on assets. Um, you also have um, stock, economy of stock trading systems that move faster and sometimes more chaotically than, than, than humans can adequately address. Flash crashes. Anyway, all this stuff, it, it disrupts traditional aspects of the economy. Also, certain businesses and business cycles uh, 
move uncomfortably fast. Some businesses are, are relatively stable, like um, I don't know, oil and gas. They have big ups and downs, but they, they, people will still need oil and gas for maybe less and less as other technologies come online, but it's never going away entirely. Real estate, people will always be able to, will always need, what do you want me to do? Close your thumbs, that's okay. it. Okay. People will you know, always buy and sell and need land, um, but technology companies, uh, uh, biotech companies can come and go in the in a relative, you know, blink of an eye. By the time they're ready for an IPO, their their time is already gone, and they're, you know, you're there's you're selling a stinky company because it took two years to get to IPO or three years, and people have have already moved on from it. Um, so all that stuff's going to be disruptive to traditional capitalism. Um, so what do you do about that? You tell me. Well, I don't know. I mean, the, some of the solutions uh, are socialistic. Guaranteed minimum income in, who's doing that? Finland, I think, is experimenting with giving 1% of its population um, a guaranteed wage regardless of whether they work or not. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know how you have a work-based economy when there's not enough work to go around. And I mean, well, both capitalism and socialism are based on people working. Um, and I mean, the big, like, socialism, Marxism, purports to be able to perfectly imagine the future. It says that eventually, workers will own the means of production. But what Marxism missed entirely was that frickin' robots are gonna be the means of production. And workers you know, are gonna be needed less and less in the, in the sense that I think Marx, I don't know, I haven't read Marx, all I know is what I've, the little, what he imagined as workers are not going to be people. They're going to be machines. Well, okay, here's my problem with all this. Every single time there is a breakthrough in technology, uh, including the Industrial Revolution and uh, America and the 19th century, people think that uh, humans will be thrown out of work. And a lot of them are. I mean, you know, there's no more buggy whip manufacturers. Um, they've got machines now that can pick the fruit, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, factories, burger flipping. And yet people always seem to find a way of making themselves useful. And so it's not really a concern for me. When I look to the future, uh, I'm just excited about how it'll be impossible for someone to die. We get to the point that our, our, we'll conquer so many diseases uh, and have so many ways of keeping people alive and uh, restoring their health uh, after they've had an accident that, that that's what I'm looking forward to. It just, just, it'll be a good thing. People will live longer and healthier. Um, but if you want to know my great fear, my fear is that Trump was able to push back the evil minions of socialism in 2016, but it will rise again. And when I look at uh, the media, social media, regular media, and even my friends and, and neighbors, they are committed to socialism, uh, even though they don't know that they are.